Hey everybody, I have a really quick video to show you how to make your own stones using silicone molds and something called UltraCal 30. This is one set of molds from the Happy Dotting Company, and then I also have another set of soap molds that I got from Amazon. I use my little kitchen scale to make sure that this stays as accurate as possible for the measurements, and I start by setting the scale to use grams for the measurement. Then I put my bowl on the scale and then I zero out the scale so that I can start measuring the UltraCal. This is a little cheat sheet to the breakdown of water to UltraCal mix. I have a link in the description to a PDF that you can download with this information. So now I'm going to add the UltraCal 30 with a spoon and I'm going to aim to get 100 grams exactly. Now I'm going to zero out the scale again so that we can measure the grams of water. This part you want to do nice and slowly, be super careful so it's exact. We're going to do 38 parts water to match with the 100 parts of UltraCal mix. When you first add the water, you're going to notice a little bit of bubbling, so you can let the water sit in the bowl until the bubbling stops, and then you're going to mix it gently with a gloved hand. Make sure you get all the lumps out and that it's nice and smooth. Now we're gonna pour the mix into the mold. This is one of the Happy Dotting Company molds, so it's a single mold. And you're just gonna dump everything in there and make sure you get everything off the sides of the bowl. Now we're just gonna tap really lightly on the sides of the mold to remove any excess bubbling that may have happened when you poured the mix into the mold. These will set up in about 35 to 40 minutes, but I often just forget about them because I'm doing other things. So you can see they're hard and you just pull off the mold and you'll see how smooth the stone is. It does have a little bit of a ridge on the back because we didn't fill it up quite all the way, but you can see how smooth the top is. I do let these sit out for a day or two because they do have moisture in them that needs to dry out before you paint them. I also take a file or sandpaper to even out the back. It's usually a little lumpier on the back. And like I said, this one has a little bit of a ridge, so I'm just gonna file it down so it's nice and smooth. After these have set out for a couple days, I do put a light coating of Mod Podge on them to give them a nice little seal. They can be a little bit porous and soak up the paint, so this helps the paint really adhere to the stone and be nice and opaque. And now you're ready to paint a beautiful design. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the little notification bell so you don't miss future uploads. See you next time!